Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got an enhancement to weapons kind of here, some vanilla weapons anyway. This mod is called Three Star Weapons. So this may look like a regular 10 millimeter pistol in my hand. For all intents and purposes it is, right? Except for, it's a three star legendary. Now, in Fallout 76 they added a system where you could have multiple stars of legendary ranks. So instead of just having one legendary effect, a two star legendary would have two legendary effects and a three star legendary would have three. So essentially what this mod does is it attempts to emulate that system in a, in a kind of way. Um, it has some restrictions uh, because you can't just have, there's like categories of legendaries that go in each of the three slots. We'll go over that a little bit more in a second. But to start off with this mod, obviously I have the 10mm pistol here. If I inspect this in the thing, you can see its attachments, right? It's um, Assassin's 2-shot, um, and I believe it has one other thing. And the I, I, we'll see, we'll mess with it in a little bit. But So this applies to a, a lot of vanilla weapons, not all of them. And the way you do this is you have to craft a special version of the weapon that is three star. So you go in here to the chemistry station, right? And they're free. So like, so we go here, there's a guns, three star category. So we're, you know, G is alphabetical order, unless you change your, if you can change it, I don't really know. Um, but you can craft like things like the 44, the 10 millimeter alien blaster, assault rifle, broadsider, combat rifle, combat shotgun, cryo later deliverer, double barrel shotgun, fat man, flamer, gamma gun, gatling laser, goss rifle, hunting rifle, Institute pistol or rifle, it doesn't really matter. Um, the junk jet, a laser rifle, a pistol, whatever you change it into, right? A laser musket, a minigun, a missile launcher, pipe weapons of all variety, pipe bolt action weapons, pipe revolver type weapons, plasma weapons, railway rifle, base game SMG, and the syringer. I believe that's all the guns. I now, like, there's a lot of guns in Fallout, to be fair, um, and their variants and stuff. But, like, so you can pretty much craft whatever vanilla gun you want for free. And it gets the potential to have three legendary effects on it. Now we're going to show this in a couple of different varieties. I'm going to pick guns that I actually, you know, maybe want to use. Right? So, we'll take a combat shotgun. I think that's a good one. I love the combat shotgun. It's a classic since Fallout 3. Like, combat shotgun, you just kill things. Right? So, I think the combat shotgun is going to be a really cool thing to show this off with. We'll take a Gatling laser. Why not? And maybe we'll take a Gauss rifle. That's why not. That's also some fun shit that we could do with that. Um, kind of have a different variety of things here already. Um, I'm trying to think what else I would want to take. Maybe it'll take like a like a full auto style gun, like an AR assault rifle or the Comet rifle. I guess people like the Comet rifle more than that. But so you take you, you just craft those. Those are free, right? Like I just picked those are the guns that I wanted to use. Obviously, that's a that's a decent variety of guns here. Um, but then you obviously have to take them here to your weapon workbench. Now I'll show off here on my 10 millimeter pistol. I already have the three slots in here. So one stat, the first stat. Or I guess it's technically, this is called the third star, this is the second star, and the first star, but they're, they're in reverse order than mod off, why'd you put this is the first one? The first one you pick is what it does extra damage to. So it's not just any legendary effect, like I said earlier, right? There's kind of categories. So, mine does extra damage to humans, right? But you can make it do extra damage to bugs, extra damage to ghouls, extra damage to animals, and super mutants, and robots, right? So you pick what it does extra damage to. Then you go to the next category. And it's like a damage modifying type. So you can make it do incendiary damage, plasma damage, rad damage, or two shot. Two shot is obviously the best. I just can't think of a situation where you want not two shot. And then you pick a stat. So in this case, I give it plus four agility, plus four charisma, plus four intelligence, strength, perception. Not endurance though, because motherfuckers hate me. I don't know why, right? Like, I'm like, I'm a tanky boy, I like endurance. I, my whole first build was like, I'm gonna build an endurance build in Fallout 4. Gets no respect as a stat. There's six stats in the game. If we're going to leave one out of buffing with this thing. So obviously it's not like every legendary effect, right? You can't get things like lucky that are increase your luck stat. Um, you can't, oh, I guess luck stat is the one missing from this too. That obviously is very overpowered as a stat to increase. Plus four luck is humongous. Um, but you can't, you know, get increased criticals. There's like a lot of legendary effects that are missing here. Um, so it's not exactly the same thing. Now, and obviously you can't, like I said, because this doesn't apply to weapons that you already have. So it's like you can't take a legendary weapon and then apply all this stuff to it. It's just these weapons. But I do think it's a unique and interesting system. We're going to show it off with some of these other things here too. So like, I have this combat rifle here. So if I wanted to, you know, max this out. Um, a powerful automatic. Like I said, I want to make an automatic gun. Long quarter barrel. Recoil compensating stock. You go through all your normal stuff, right? Large quick eject mag. Um, glow sight front ring. Because if you're doing anything else, you're weird. Um, put a suppressor on there, why not? But then we get the things, and I'm like, I think Assassin's really is kind of the way to go on it, but like, 
Obviously, you can do different stuff, right? Damage to bugs, ghouls, whatever you think you're going to end up fighting for. So, like, obviously, a combat rifle is fully automatic. You might not want to fight ghouls with, but, like, say, for example, I want to go here to that combat shotgun. This is my ghoul killing weapon. So, I would go in here, and this is kills ghouls better, right? I, when I'm getting fucked by ghouls, I still think two shot is the best out of the things. I guess it greatly reduces accuracy. Since when has it done that? <laughs> And maybe I wanted to be, like, extra tough. I, this is actually, like, see, because this is where I think, actually, endurance as a stat would be handy, right? Because, like, this is my close-range gun. This is when I know I'm going to probably be taking some damage. Maybe I want endurance, right? Like, I don't know why I want my charisma shotgun. I'm not sure that they, but you could. You could do that, obviously. If you have the shotgun equipped, you get, you know, in better chance in conversation or intelligence. So you get bonus XP when you use the weapon. Strength, so you can carry more stuff when you're using the weapon. Maybe put it on a particularly heavy weapon, right? Perception, because you really want to increase that accuracy. Something like a sniper rifle or whatever. I think agility is going to be the way we go still on this. But, like, so, yeah, you have the Gatling laser. You're like, okay, it's a heavy gun. When I have the heavy gun on, I would like to be stronger. Like, there's some cool things you can do with it. Is it perfect? No. I don't know why it greatly reduces. I mean, doesn't the... I mean, the Gatling laser is a laser. What if we made a laser plasma gun? I just wanted to, like, just, just to see, like, assassins. Because I still think most of the enemies you fight are humans. Raiders. And I guess sense are robots. There's sense count as robots? I think sense count as robots, right? Like, uh, and, like, not, like, philosophically, like, the Gen 3, like, the whole <laughs> philosophical argument of this thing. But, like, does, does the sense count as a robot in terms of doing extra damage to it? Um, I don't know. Um, so yeah, we have our fully pimped out Gatling laser here. We have some other things in here, like the Gauss rifle and stuff. You could go on and pick and choose. Um, but they, they all kind of work the same, and they all have those same options. So we have an Assassin's Gatling laser here now, right? Which should do extra damage to people and stuff. And it's doing plasma damage now, too, on top of its damage, right? It says it does, anyway. It's kind of all energy damage, anyway. It's kind of just a damage buff. I want, I, like, it's a laser plasma thing? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Um... It's going to make the weapons more effective in, in certain situations and stuff. Obviously, it's assassins, it's assassins. And then, obviously, the name is always going to be based off of what this, the fuck you put on there. Right? I didn't put one on the combat rifle. And, obviously, like I said, you don't technically have to do all of them. The combat rifle suppressor doing some weird shit. Why does that sound so weird? Anyway, but, like, you could just put the I want a stat buff on every gun. Like, but, obviously, you still kind of want to pick the legendary effects. Like, it's kind of a weird system. Like, it does have its benefits. I definitely think there's some cool things. Like, this Ghoul Slayer shotgun, right? Obviously, you want to go, like, advanced receiver. I don't... There's no, I'm an automatic guy. You guys know me. You probably heard me in my videos talking about how I like being automatic. Um, but semi-auto is the way to go on this. Um, so, we have all this. Obviously, no muzzle. Ghoul Slayer. So we can go kill some ghouls with the shotgun, and it will be better. Like, 50% more damage is a big deal. Right? And especially with the two shot and stuff like that, right? Two shot is gonna it's going to do more damage. And then the agility stat buff. So I will be faster, right? So like even if I just look at like this is my speed that I am walking around here though. And it might be affected slightly by a mod I have on. But like so And I have a lot of agility as it already is. I have what what is my agility stat? Fourteen. So I have fourteen agility, but then I put on this Ghoul Slayer's combat shotgun that does jump it up to eighteen. And I am quicker. Like, I am, I could feel the difference. And I have a powerful shotgun that's going to go kill ghouls. We're going to go kill some ghouls with it. We're going to have, like, different custom weapons for different scenarios. And I'm going to mess with them a little bit in that kind of environment. And I'll see you guys in a second. All right, everybody, it may be raining, but we are at College Square. Ghoul Slayers, right? Like if we're going to do the ghoul slaying thing. I cannot believe I missed. The accuracy stat is much lower, but it doesn't really seem so. Like, it says it's technically two because of the two-shot mod greatly lowering the accuracy of the weapon. Um... This combat shotgun seems to do just fine. Even at that, like, I mean, it's a shotgun. It's still going to have shotgun range, but we're going to still get 95s across the board. We're going to one-shot every ghoul that exists. We have a ghoul specialty killing weapon because I've designed it to be that way, right? Now, obviously, I could have designed this to be a human killing weapon, all kinds of things. Obviously, the Brotherhood is, you know, having their time. We're going to let them do their thing. Obviously, you can see my, my hip fire accuracy is extremely wide. This still doesn't matter, though. Do you see how little that matters? Like look at my look at the, how you know big that is. It doesn't matter. Two shots. It's firing twice as many pellets. I don't know how two shot works on a shotgun, but every ghoul that exists, this is my ghoul specialty killing weapon, right? Like I have designed it to be that way. Says there's something over here. One more. But obviously that's just a basic idea, right? Like 
And I get the agility. No, 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 no. no. I don't want to pick the guy. It's not fun. If the ghoul's not even in there. But, like, I do I do be checking. I be checking my corners, doing my things. Obviously, that's the ghoul's thing shotgun. We're going to show off. Um, I've made, like, a robot killing goss rifle. And then, like, you know, one of my people killing other weapons. And I'll show all these off. It's, it's, you know, this is the thing. I think it's fun. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, everybody, walking up to the General Atomics factory that should have robots. This is my robot killing Gauss rifle. It's, I mean, it's extremely powerful Gauss rifle anyway. It doesn't really matter if we kill robots or whatever we kill with the weapon because <laughs> it's, it's a Gauss rifle, right? But technically, I have designed this thing to be extra effective against robots. Now, I'm hoping there's some here, right? Now, obviously, like, I, I can't, I, if I remember right, this is a robot kind of spawning location. But if I don't find any, that's my fault because I'm the big dumb sometimes. Oh, there's definitely a Mr. Handy right there. Absolutely annihilated. Right? It doesn't... I mean, it's, I can't even describe in words how unnecessary that it is. kills robots better. Because mine explodes. I have special mods that make my Gauss rifle even better. Is a turd a robot? I don't know if a turd is a robot. Not that it, Like I said, nothing than anything. This gun, this is one of, if any gun, is the particular one. But, like, I'm just trying to illustrate a scenario in your head. Where you would have, even if you just took 10 millimeter pistols, because you're like, I'm going to do a pistol, I'm going to kill myself. Do I just back up a little bit? Yeah, that's explosive. <laughs> so I'm a little sketchy. Um, but a situation where you're like, or you have 10 millimeters and 44s, or, or two different kinds of rifles. Can I shoot this door open? It did hurt the shit. That door got open. Obviously, this is just nuking. This, this is kind of unnecessary as a point. Um... Yeah, gutsy. You want to fucking go? I don't know where they, how to get to the gutsy. I don't know how to navigate Fallout structures anymore. I have, it's been a long time since I've like actually played through the game, though. You guys like where I've like explored these areas and been like, oh, I know where to go. It's like this doesn't lead to anything. Like I just forget. But I'm trying to describe a situation, like I said, that you have a deal where you could go to different spots and do different things with different guns. Like you have, even if you, like I said, even if you're using pistols or rifles, right? So you have a combat rifle that's really good at killing humans and then an assault rifle that's really good at killing mutants and then like a right and then you're still using all your rifle build type of style of playthrough but you have different specialty weapons that you've crafted with this mod it's a cool unique interesting idea it's a very small mod to be fair right obviously i believe there's super mutants across the street here i didn't make a mutant killing gun i killed i mean i got assassins left but i think i think you guys get the idea anyway right even without i mean it's two shot gun it's a two shot gun regardless like even if i I don't even know if there's super mutants left here, to be fair. This shit might be cleared out. Um, no, there's definitely super mutants still here. But this is a 10 millimeter pistol for the assassins. That's still very deadly. Just putting, being able to put two shot on every gun is extremely good, right? Like, it's just as easy as that. Now, that's not as good as if I made a mutant sling. And obviously, it's a 10 millimeter pistol, so it's not like the most powerful thing anyway. Um, the 10 millimeter pistol. Hello, super mutants. To super duper dead, right? What the fuck rain? Did some nuclear material looking shit rain down from the sky? I don't know what the fuck is happening sometimes. Dead, right? I'm gonna take no fall damage. I thought I was really gonna take fall damage, but yeah, you guys get the idea. I think I'm gonna quickly head back, show you one more time, like all your options, right? And I'll see you guys in just a sec. All right, guys. As a reminder here, I, I've shown back up. I want to talk, you know, some final thoughts, some closing thoughts in the mod here. I think it's a good mod. I think it's. A, Anything that lets you have more customization is good. Now, it would be cool if you could apply this stuff to weapons you already had and you don't have to craft like a separate three-star version, right? You don't have to craft a special 44. Not that this costs anything. This is all free, reminder, right? It doesn't cost anything to craft the three-star 44 if I wanted it, for example. Um, and I wish there was, I do wish there was more customization here in terms of like the abilities and stuff, right? Like uh, maybe there's like particular reasons like the game just fucking crashes or whatever. It doesn't cost anything to craft any of these mods either, right? Like so like, you could literally, you get out of the vault, you could find the first chemistry station in Sanctuary, you could craft yourself a two-shot, that, that 10 millimeter pistol you took out of the, I mean, you or whatever. You could you could craft yourself whatever. Technically, you could craft a Gatling laser, because the Gatling laser is free. Now, obviously, that's kind of overpowered in its own right, because you can just give yourself a Gatling laser in the beginning of the game, and you're not supposed to have that shit yet. Plus, you can make a two-shot. Plus, you can make it other things without even, you know, needing any materials at all. But it is kind of a cool system for customization and adds an extra layer. Obviously, like I said, it only applies to vanilla weapons. And I know some of y'all out there don't even use vanilla weapons anymore. You're like, you're like the people who are using all the replacers and stuff. You're just like, get rid of vanilla weapons, replace them with these new modern weapons and stuff. 
or you know whatever you're particularly doing with your playstyle. I still think it's kind of a cool, unique, interesting mod. It could, you know, I think it could use some benefits. I know there's there's like individual mods you can add onto this that add individual DLC guns. Where I've seen like, oh, you have a three star lever action or a three star handmade rifle or whatever, whatever. Right? So, but like, it's not like a full pack. I think on the DLC. So this is obviously just vanilla game guns, right? But you don't have like a Far Harbor pack or a uh, Nuka World pack or whatever, right? Where you take all the guns that are added in that and do that, right? But, uh, you know, it is a cool little system. I think extra customization is good. You guys let me know what you think of the three-star weapons down in the comment section down below. If you guys want to check out this mod for yourselves, make sure to check out the top link in the description. There'll be a link there to the Bethesda Nine page and the Nexus mod page. You can download this mod for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. That way you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.